Hey guys, welcome back to Ready Place. Check it out guys, I have a little tutorial or tip or FYI. This is something I came across uh, just recently. I was calibrating both my monitors on my computer while doing some work. And as you can see, I own the i1 Pro Calibrate machine uh, device. Now, from x ray the one thing I've been noticing, and it's just been getting worse, that if you notice, this device is developing a really sticky, slimy uh, film on the device itself to the point that it is very uncomfortable <laughs> to touch and I couldn't understand for the life of me what the heck was going on I thought I spilled something on it but to my understanding this is a common problem with this device and to my understanding when they develop this the coating they put on this plastic breaks down all right, um, I had this for numbers of years and it just recently started, I guess, breaking down and getting worse. So what we're going to do is try to attempt to clean it. And that's the only way you're going to fix this. All right, there's no other way. It has to be cleaned. You have to take this coating off. And to let you know, it's going to be a process. It's not coming off easy. I already tried to clean it off with some some wipes, some baby wipes, some, you know, just a mild detergent to try to get off. It's not coming off. So this is going to take a little time getting off. So I recommend for you guys is to get you an old toothbrush. All right. What I'm tempting to do, mineral spirit. All right. This is what you use for painting, taking off varnishes, taking off our old paint, what have you. So that's how I'm going to approach it. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping it does work. But I just want to record this and, t and give you guys a tip on what you should do. All right. Uh, this is a electronic device, so you definitely want to be careful. So uh, this is just going to be my experience, what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up a time lapse, uh, keep it all focus on this, and see if we can get this whole film off. And it affects the whole machine. All, this whole, all The whole black plastic is affected from the bottom to the sides to the top. All right, the only thing that's not affected is these metal pieces here or aluminum pieces here. So this sucks, <laughs> all right, but it is what it is. I had this for so many years. x right is not going to be able to do anything for me because I had this for over five, maybe eight years. So it's pretty much out of this warranty. But again, guys, this is just a little tip. I'm hoping to help you guys out there. So this is Ray Place. Thank you for joining me, guys. If you like this type of content, if it's just helpful, uh, please consider hitting that uh, subscribe button, share button, like button. In my book, hit all the damn buttons, all right? And let's just get into this, all right? Let's uh, see if we can get this fixed and so I can still use it, all right? Because to tell you the truth, being so sticky, I don't want to touch it. <laughs> so, all right, let's get, get with it. All right, let's just get into the video. Enough of me talking again. What I'm using is an old toothbrush. Doesn't matter what type of brush, or something scrubbing. What I'm gonna do is attempt to put this varnish. I got a little plastic at. I already put some varnish in it, and I'm gonna have some paper towels. Let's set it up here. It doesn't spill everywhere. And we're just gonna apply a little coat of varnish. Let it sit and see if we can get this all this gook off. All right. So let's try that. Now my, my suggestion is to start in sections. Don't try to do the whole thing at the same time. So what I'm doing now, I'm just going to do the top first. And just scrub this in. I'm not really worrying about the labeling or what have you. I just want to get this plastic crap off. Again, I'm trying to avoid any drips around electronics. All right. So as you can see, I put a little coat on there. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna time it for three minutes. All right. I'm gonna put a time of three minutes and see how that works. I'll let it sit for three minutes and wipe it off and see if that's working. Hey guys, I've been at this for a, a little bit now. 
I find out with this combination when I'm doing with the mineral spirit, be very careful if you would take that root. What I end up doing, I'm doing a combination of both. I started off with the min mineral spirit just to, I guess, to help break it down. Then I went back and picked up, uh, well, I had some alcohol um, available. So I took that and went, on, and went on top of that. And it seemed like it worked pretty well. If you could see, and you can see the difference between up here, the non-treated area is still glossy. This down here is now dull. That's that film that's coming off now. So, with the mineral spirits, again, be very careful. All right, it's kind of thick. Might suggest probably just bypass that. I'll try just to go with the alcohol in the bottom part because I didn't treat it yet down here to see how that works out. But the alcohol seemed like it really rips right through that finish that's breaking down and takes it off. Now, it's going to leave your component in a dull uh, finish, which is fine with me. I, I really don't care about that. Um, it's not affecting the the labels, what have you, so it seems like the alcohol is probably the way to go with this. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to continue on. Again, this part I didn't treat up here. You can see that film is still on there. So I'm going to come back with the oil now. And I de definitely recommend go pick up some um, microfiber. Now I picked these up here um, I'll put a link below um, if you want to ship to you um, but just pick up some cheap uh, microfiber cloths all right I'll put a little link from Amazon it won't this be this particular one but I, I ended up running out because I didn't wait for didn't want to wait for Amazon so I went to the dollar store to pick up a you know two for a dollar so again for those who, who can't get to the store and you want to make an order I'll put a link something similar to this down below and if you purchase it, it does support the channel, and I greatly appreciate it. All right, guys. So let's uh, let me continue on cleaning this. I'll continue with a time lapse on um, seeing how this come out, and we'll continue after I get it all cleaned up. All right. And after it's all cleaned up, then I'll let you know exactly the technique that I use. guys uh, I'm all done all right it's it's a long process not that long I, again the quickest way to get this clean guys alcohol I believe it's 90% alcohol rubbing alcohol and microfiber towels all right that's the two things you need most of all if you do have a spare toothbrush um, to get into the corners that's fine but not really need it just these two two items to clean this all off, to get all that film off, it will do the job. All right, so I'm happy with it now. Um, it's not sticky to the touch anymore. Uh, that film was disgusting. I mean, you didn't want to even touch it with your bare hands. So it's nice and clean. And that's it, guys. I'm just going to leave this, this tip with you. I hope it's helpful for you guys out there looking for information about this. There's not a lot of information out there. And I just wanted to do a quick video to let you guys know. If you have that same problem, this is the solution. All right, guys. Again, this is Ray Place. Thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, and I'll check you out on the next one. Be good.